Hello and welcome to my little escapade. Um, this is Raul here. I'm still at the hospital. Thought that we were going to be out by today, but unfortunately not yet. But that's not a big deal. Um, today I'm gonna be talking about an amazing camera that I just discovered. It was released um, in joint with the Canon 60 Mark II, but it's a smaller version. It's called the Canon SL2. As you know, the Canon SL series is part of the Rebel series. Um, previously to the current model, which is the SL2, we had the SL1, which was not a great performing camera. It was much um, more um, marketed toward beginners or people who are basically just jump started YouTube channels or basic vlogging. But uh, now that I'm looking, taking a second look at the SL series and saw how it evolved that quickly, it's got some pretty nifty features. Let me get my iPad over here so I can open that Canon page. So this little camera, it's smaller than the T7i series. It's lighter, it weighs around 16 ounces or one pound. So it just weights one pound. That means that it's great for vlogging. So if you're gonna put this in a gorilla part, um, it's gonna be lightweight and you're gonna be able to film yourself or film others or take pictures real comfortably since the camera is very small. So basically you got this pocket rocket um, which is um, very very small and and can perform really good um, this camera over here don't underestimate it it has 24.2 megapixels it's got the digix 7 processor it has dual um, autofocus it's got dual pixel um, autofocus so that means that the same dual um, AF that the Canon 80D, the Canon 70D, and the 7i series and the 77D camera has, it has it. So imagine yourself with the same autofocus power as an 80D, but much more smaller and much more cheaper. Of course, it comes with its um, with its a little downside, which means it, the camera itself won't have many out of focus points it will only have nine out of focus points versus the 45 of the 7i and the kind of 80d series but that's not a big deal you know if you're just shooting casual photography or travel photography nine out of focus points is basically all you're gonna need if you're not gonna be filming too much action or taking a lot of wildlife wildlife photography or sports photography or sports video if not if you're not gonna do any of those um, you're not really gonna need that much out of focus points. So, um, basically, this camera it's uh, it's kind of small. Let me see if I can bring some specs. Maybe show you some pictures. Um, this is the camera itself over here with the accessories. It comes with a lens. Um, if you buy it with the, so if you buy it uh, with the accessories, it will come with the lens, a battery, a strap, and that's it. And yeah, basically a viewfinder. Um, let me see if I can gather more pictures of the camera. Um, here is the camera itself. Um, as you can see, it looks like a mini T7i or T6i, uh, and it's very lightweight and comfortable to your hands. Now, what I like about this camera is that usually smaller cameras are not that comfortable to hold. For instance, I have a small Canon EOS M6, which is a mirrorless, and it's not that com it is comfortable to hold, but to take a you know if you're gonna be all day shooting pictures, it's gonna feel a little bit uncomfortable. Now this gives you that extra comfort, extra comfort since it's still a DSLR. It has a mirror. It's not a mirrorless. It has a mirror. Therefore, it's gonna be a little bit more hefty, but it's not gonna be. Um, it's not gonna weigh a lot. You know, it just weighs one pound. And the thing that I like most is that even though it's like very entry level um, 
DSLR, it has a whole bunch of features that pro cameras do, like the, um, like the tilt and swivel 3 inch screen that you can basically um, that you can basically oops press something over here that you can basically um, flip out and you can monitor yourself or you can um, tilt and swivel it ho however um, you want in order to take um, pictures at different angles and let me see if I can oops uh, this one press a picture over here you can switch the lenses on this camera and the thing is that if you're thinking about blogging you're probably thinking about a Canon G7X Mark II which is gonna have some 30 something maybe 39 out of focus points something like that um, this one would only give you nine but it will give you the option to change lenses and to play a little bit more with the bokeh and uh, also uh, it's a great camera for pictures um, because it's a little bit more comfortable you know the G7X and the Canon, the Canon EOS M series are just pretty much flat and they're not really that easy to hold this will give you a, a very nice body uh, not such a great price you know because right now it's just starting at 700 with the lens without the lens body only is just 549 dollars and if you're already invested in Canon like me which um, I have a bunch of lenses in my back um, you know it's not gonna be really that big of an investment maybe I'll, um, I'll just buy the body only and uh, I'll use the lenses that I already have and that'll save you some money and what I like about this camera a lot is that it's you know it's small it's powerful you know even though it's small it has the power of a DSLR it has a professional a full it has um it has an a full um APS-C it has an APS-C sensor um and it has all the full capabilities of a DSLR but in a smaller body so gives you like five, fra five frames per second um, it can shoot raw, it can, it can shoot JPEG, it has auto mode, standard portrait, landscape fine detail, neutral, faithful, monochrome modes for picture styles which are very very good um, it has a uh, great autofocus system, exposure control um, it's got flash metering um, it has 63 zone metering sensor um, so it has a whole bunch of features that are normal um, the SLR has um, it's got the LCD monitor, it has, it has Wi-Fi, NFC, you can basically transfer pictures to your phone's really ease and because, and because of the smaller size um, you can easily fit in in a bag and go and use it for travel photography, for blogging. It's a great, um, uh, you know, it's a great, great camera. In regards of image stabilization, not pretty sure how good it is. Um, haven't done a lot of research in regards of image stabilization, but I'm guessing that it might have some um, digital IS inside and it also will use the IS of you know the image stabilization of the lenses itself which is very good um, it comes in black and white um, this is how it looks in white it looks pretty awful in white <laughs> it looks real funny I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it because my screen is a little bit bright and my camera is doing some color correction right now so Okay, so basically, um, this camera, you know, even though it's small, it might it might seem like it's not good, but it has a lot a lot of features that you can use. Um, it's got um, HDMI out. It has a microphone input. So basically, if you're gonna vlog or take great videos, um, you can use that microphone input that um, a normal G7X won't have. Um, 
is it's got um, it uses the EFS lenses so it's compatible with over 70 lenses from the Canon line so even though it's a cheap camera you can put great glass on it and it will take great pictures and on top of that it has an ISO sensitivity up to um, 25,600 25, for photos and 12,800 for video. It's got time, light, time lapse movie uh, mode. Um, it also has Bluetooth and can take um, great pictures. Um, here are some sample images from the Canon website. Let me see if I can show them to you real quick. This is a, a sample picture from the Canon website. I mean, just look at um, how crisp this, this picture is. Look at all those details, the colors. Um, brightness it, it, it's really impressive look at this landscape over here I'm gonna download a, a photo of landscape taken with this camera and it's pretty impressive you know if, if, if I don't know it came from an SL2 I, I would probably think that it came from an AED you know, even the, you know, it has. It, remember, it's a 24 megapixel camera. Therefore, if you're gonna make posters or gonna do some cropping, it'll be excellent for that. Um, so it it is great detail. The only weakness that I see in this camera is, of course, the auto focus points. It only has nine, and basically, um, the standard is pretty much 40 now. The last T6i um, that I had had 19 out of focus points, but it did not have the dual AF um, that the camera has now. So it would have been nice that um, the Canon, I mean, it would have been nice if Canon at least added 19 out of focus points for its SL2. Um, but um, I think they in order to uh, make the camera cheaper they just went with 9 but they could have put all 19 and that would have been even better but honestly for what you're gonna be using this camera it's not for pro video or anything maybe just amateur um, blogging and uh, you know and amateur blogging that looks pretty much like pro you know because if in your, if you're not doing um, sports videos or anything, nobody's going to notice the, bi the difference between 9 AF and 45 out of focus points. So I think that it, this camera has a lot of usability. Um, it is small, it is nifty, it is light. You can take it everywhere. It takes pro pictures even though it's an amateur camera and you can never go wrong with it. Um, Honestly, now that this camera has launched, it has created a problem with me. I, I, I was gonna, I was about to buy the Canon G7X Mark II, and now I'm like, hmm, maybe I could buy a Canon SL2. Maybe I could change the lenses. Maybe I could put a mic in it. And then all those questions start again. And, um, you know, it's one of those choices you gotta make. And I think uh, if I get it, it will be a sec. It will be my second camera for pictures. Um, um, so, or it will be my, you know, my wife's blogging camera or something. Um, but um, I think it's a great. I think it's a great option. You know, so if you're like, maybe you're just starting out. Maybe you're on a budget. On all you got is five hundred dollars or. You know, you can not go wrong with this. Definitely not. Um, I think it's a great option. I'm very glad that Canon just put it out there. So anyways, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this. I'm going to include the links below. If I ever get my hands on the camera, I'll do a review on it. Um, thank you for subscribing. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope that you guys have a great day. Goodbye.